<laughs> oh, we got a new, new person in the chat room. Wines 13. Oh, cool. Living in Las Vegas starts now. Maybe. We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome from Las Vegas, Nevada, that groovy little podcast that gives you a true first-person look into what it's like to call Sin City your home, the Living in Las Vegas podcast. And now your host, a man who clearly needs some kind of introduction, otherwise you wouldn't know who he was. Yes. Mr. Scott God Whitney. Good God, what have I done? Oh, shit. Hey, welcome everybody to the Living in Las Vegas podcast here on the Vegas Video Network. Applause. Oh my God, there it is, big boy. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey, by the way, let me be uh, the first to congratulate you because you're watching or listening to the longest running podcast about Las Vegas that actually originates from Vegas, which means what? Well, we're not only going to talk about what it's like to live here, which we will cover, but we're going to talk about adventures. Downtown, the Strip, Fremont Street, other cool places here in the Valley. And by the way, if you're a tourist or you're a fan, perhaps you're even thinking of moving to our fair city. Well, guess what? This show is like your own secret handshake to all things cool and groovy. Now, the free show here is available live every first and third Tuesday. Is that the free show because we don't spend any money for air conditioning? So what's the over under on the heat stroke? No, we'll get to that in a minute. We're all going to miss Wayne. Remember how Wayne complains how hot it is in the studio? When he was complaining, it was about 80. Currently, what's our temperature say at the crawl down there? Uh, I'm showing uh, 105. 105? On the uh, unofficial. And what does the crawl say? 112 in the crawl. It's a cool 112. <laughs> The Good water, nice, the nice water breeze. cools. We're getting, We're getting that the lake shore. Yes. <laughs> you like California. We're getting the it lake keeps shore things thing. moderate back Fantastic. here. 105. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like I was saying, we're live every first and uh, third Tuesday at seven o'clock Pacific time at VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live. VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live. What I want to do is is tell you what Christina Aguilera says, which is to come on over. Get you should be watching this shit show. Because what we're doing here is cray cray, as the kid kids say say. Now, now you know what the show notes say, though. What? I've got Nelly, and it's hot in here. Right. It's getting hot mm -hmm. in here. Now, here's the other cool thing about watching the live show. Well, you could have watched us panic at the beginning of this show when we realized that my computer that's sitting out in 112 degree weather has, it, has its own EKG oh, thing. Oh, it was, it was flatlining. It was like flatlining. About two minutes before the show started, we heard this. Eee! which is typically not a feature. Mm -hmm. So got the defibrillator. Did, right, well, I got the defibrillator and a fan, and mm -hmm. I put a fan on the computer, and that's why you're seeing what you're seeing right now. Hey, by the way, Nick, is it recording? Just check real quick. Fantastic, okay. Look at uh, that. That's great. So we've got people all, be over the, of this. all over the, <laughs> that's right. be, there's people all over the country, people in Canada watching us. Um, and here's the cool thing, pre-show, post-show. So we record from seven to eight, that's the plan. But here's the magic part, oh pre-show so you can watch us freak out and not know what the hell we're doing or do pre-show when we do know what we're doing but the best part is the post show right it's vvn2 it's xx after dark it will be actually take off our clothes jump in the pool naked mm. and really show you what we think about all the things that we're going to be talking about and the pool will be apropos with the upcoming topic my god there was a bumblebee the size of my head that just flew by my head hazards pay what is happening to uh, now let's talk about your buddy scott for a minute Hey, I am your host, Scott Whitney. Konnichiwa. Buenas noches. Oh, maybe you can go ahead and go to camera two, big boy. There you go. There I am. I'm your host, Scott Whitney. Konnichiwa. Buenas noches. How you doing, hot stuff? I am the owner of the Vegas Video Network. So on behalf of all those shows, I say thank you. On behalf of this little show here, I say thank you as well. Thank God I'm not doing this alone. I actually have Nick in the background doing technical directing. It will be his first and last time doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So far, it's going pretty well. What do you think? 
Oh, fantastic. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I think he's doing very well. I think he's got a... Six stars on Yelp. He's got a huge future as a technical director, but he's behind the scenes. He, he just works and toils because he believes in it. This guy I'm about to introduce you to needs to be in front of the camera because he's a goddamn magic man. Ladies and gentlemen, right. Pip and Wayne, everybody. Applause, applause, applause. Thank you. Thank applause, you. Applause, hey, applause, I'm applause. not too proud to clap for myself. Applause. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. Nick's thank in charge you. of applause. You in the back and all you at home. There you go. Just, just push the button one time. That'll be enough. You. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Wayne, tell us a little bit about what you think the over-under is. Uh, the over-under for the show or for the paramedics to show up after I get heat stroke? Let's do both. Okay. Let's start with the show. Uh, the show, let's go uh, 42 minutes. 42, okay. And the paramedics, this is a gated community, so I'm not sure if they have the code. They do. You'll probably forget to give it to them. I would. Uh, so I, I think paramedics will get here in about 18 minutes. 18 minutes. So 18 mm. minutes is when you die. Uh, yeah. No, well, if, if you don't start applying ice, well, that's right because you mentioned ahead of time you were concerned. I did, and I looked up. I'm. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I'm a doctor certified by the board of WebMD, <laughs> okay. and so the ways that you combat heat stroke, you bring the victim inside to an air conditioned area, and then you apply ice to the head, right, the underarms. Mm -hmm and the groin right so i hope you have a lot of ice what i'm going to tell you is there's a lot of groin you're going to die <laughs> i'm sorry but you're going to die hey new in the live chat lion 13 welcome lion 13 now we didn't have a chance to ask lion 13 about Age what his name location. is where he's from how he heard of us but we have spies among us tell us a little bit about lion 13. lion 13 gosh uh, where do I begin? First off, you probably want to pay those parking tickets, Lioness. <laughs> they will they will boot your car for that. Uh, but really, sweet, sweet man. Um, there was that one incident with the, the guy in the room at the place, but uh, I told him, I promised him I wouldn't talk about I'm that. I'm guessing he's from Detroit. Uh, could be that. Maybe San Diego. Maybe discovered, He discovered us on Pornhub. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, that's where all the aspiring That's the Vegas hosts. Video Network 2.0 right. music or stuff goes, is on Pornhub. So, welcome to uh, Vegas Video Network, Lion13, whose new name is going to be called Bill. Well, that's, that's a shit name. Yeah. Let's call him Larry. Mm -hmm. Larry the Lion. Oh, uh, we'll see the alliteration all right. there. All right. Gosh, so, sure, let's go ahead and get ready for our main topic button. Go, Nikki, go. Go, go, get Look at you. Out of boy. We're so impressed. We're so proud. It's like the, it's the first day of kindergarten. It is. I brought him up from nothing. We got his lunch pack. He's going to go in. You know what? He's got a Partridge Family lunchbox. Does he really? I don't Original? Know. Well, if he does. Probably worth some money. We're going to have to take it from him. Yeah. Okay. The reason why we're out here <coughs> is a couple of reasons. The first of all has to do with the fact that you don't you like wanted... paying the electric bill for I, yes. I got tired of, of uh, Wayne kept saying, it's so hot in here. I'm like, really? You want to see hot? We're going to do the show on the outside. Okay. I guess we won't be hearing that anymore. Here's why. Two things. First of all, as you can see, we have gone mobile, as the kids say. We have taken our live stream Las Vegas equipment, which is basically a television studio that's portable, and we've taken all of the living in Las Vegas content, put it on this little portable system, and it's allowing us to be able to do this show anywhere. And that's going to be our intent, is to be able to be mobile with this show. So we're not going to just do it in the studio here. And we're probably going to do a couple in the other studio as well with the same equipment, but we can do it anywhere. Bars, lounges. In the pool. In the pool. We could have been in the floaty chairs right now. Could have been. Could have been, but we didn't do that. So mm. that's the first thing. Now, what's the main topic? Well, the reason why we're by a pool is because we're going to be talking about pool cabanas. And as I said in the tease on my Facebook page, I said, what we're not going to do is take a bunch of press releases from the casinos and go, oh, Oh yes, these are all good pools. We wouldn't do that. We're not puppets. Well, no, we're not puppets. No, we're what are we the review journal? No. <laughs> what are we the review journal? Okay, I guess that sponsorship is some shit. <laughs> okay, so we're not. Is that uh, Shel Sheldon's on the phone yeah, right now. Man, he's quick. Good talk. He is quick. Well, he's eighty something. Uh, he's not quick. Instead, we took our roving reporter, Wayne. Wayne went out this weekend and he sacrificed himself. I'm assuming. Oh uh, yes. Oh yes. To go out and physically discover cabanas and pools and mm -hmm. with a, a local eye absolutely this. wayne and a non-functioning uh vegas video network expense credit card uh i really thought you were going to get that issue straightened you out you didn't get that card 
uh, no, no, I got it. Uh, they just said it was canceled. <laughs> so if you could, if you could work that out for me. So here's what happened. Okay. So last weekend, you know, this heat wave started, uh, starting Saturday. And so the wife and I thought, Hey, let's go outside because <laughs> it might be nice to see the sun, but you know, see some, see some sights before the sun burns us alive. Right. So we wanted to see what it was like to see how the rich people live, mm -hmm. what, what a normal weekend for Scott is like. <laughs> so we've talked on this show before about pools. Yes, we have. Um, some some good ones on this trip. Yeah. Some bad ones. Some ones mm -hmm. to avoid. Mm -hmm. And so you know we've never really taken a look at cabanas. And so since which is important because uh, because I'm the one percenter. It is. Yep. I'm all about cabanas. That would have been a good chance to shoot me there. Mm, eh, it's all right. It's kindergarten. He's still got safety scissors. He'll get the pointy ones one day. <laughs> so we, we wanted to see, uh, we, went, we decided we were going to go take the plunge, no pun intended, look at you. And, and look at the cabana scene. I like it. And so like anything else, I spent a whole day researching, making phone calls, uh, and, and just became an expert on the subject. So the first thing that I discovered is, let me ask you a question. When you think of, when I say a cabana yep. to you, what do you think of? Well, so I think of a small place that has four walls, a ceiling, a television, a cooler, shrimp that's been peeled. Mm. <laughs> Hand fed to you. And all that I can drink. That's what I think when I think cabanas. Well, what's, what's funny about that is uh, that is your interpretation. Yes. And what I found is that even from area to area, and even within the same area, from hotel to hotel, that definition varies widely. Mm. So I found some locations, and I'm going to name some names here in a minute, but I found some locations where you didn't even get that. What? For a cabana. Really? So some locations starting off defined as a cabana or a cabana rental as uh, not even, you said walls, but two places. Cloth walls. Two places had essentially those gazebos that you might see at, at the end of the sale season at Home Depot. I do know what you're talking where about. Where you just kind of flip the sides out yep. and you, you Velcro the top down. Yep. That's considered a cabana to some hotels. Mm -hmm. And but then, the walls are covered. Uh, you could stretch can the I, fabric. Can I, yeah. I, can I see the guy in the other cabana next to me? Uh, yeah, in some of them, yep. Ooh, some of them, man. it's almost a communal type setting yeah. where there's one big canopy covering if you will yeah and then there's individual couches and then just privacy curtains you could pull between the almost looking like bays or stalls okay if you will all right so you share a a curtain uh with your cabana neighbors yeah. at some locations okay some of them they were uh the complete opposite they were solidly built structures yep. roofs ceiling fans Good. misters i don't know if you mentioned those oh. I should have. Misters. Louis and Portado. Um, and you were set apart from anybody else. You didn't share a wall with anyone. You had your own almost private space. Nice. So first we had to decide, okay, what did we want in a cabana? And we wanted, like you said, we had, you know, because we wanted to live the life that, that you live, we wanted to live vicariously through something you would do. We wanted, very similar like you said, we wanted four walls. We wanted a TV because I'm not much for the sun. I'm not much for the pool. I just wanted some shade and I wanted to enjoy some, some cable. Okay. Um, and we wanted um, uh, a fan to circulate the air. It was a hot day. Um, and, you know, some space where we weren't on top of anyone or right next to anyone. So then we said to ourselves, okay, where do we want to go? What pool looks good? And this is where, if you want to refer back to some of the shows we've done before on, on what's a, you know, who has a good pool and, and who doesn't, um, we looked at some areas, you know, you want to be able to, to swim potentially in a pool. Of course. So, uh, we ruled out pools where the water did not go above your knees. Fair enough. Um, so that we want to do a little bit more than just uh, splash around in the water and, and listen to. Uh, it was also EDC weekend, so uh -huh. that that factored into it as well. Um, so we had to figure out. Okay, we know what we want. Now we found the the hotels that had that type of cabana, and so where do we want to be in town? And what kind of pool scene did we want? Did we want young and trendy, which was more of the strip because it was EDC weekend, right? Or did we want a little less hustle bustle and move off from the strip? Then you have to decide on price, and it varies wildly. Yeah. 
and the pricing structure is different in different places. So for example, uh, I'll start at the bottom of the, the, the rung of the ladder. Okay. So somewhere like the Silverton we looked at. Okay. The Silverton, it's on Las Vegas Boulevard, did but a little bit south. Did you physically visit all these places? Uh, not all of them, okay. no. Did, did a lot of online research. Okay. Right. A lot of Yelp and TripAdvisor, right. Right. Uh, Reddit. And so started at the Silverton. So yeah. what do they offer? They were of the, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, the less is more variety. Fair enough. As in, uh, you got uh, your frame and you got some fabric around your frame. And there's your cabana. Boom. But priced accordingly. Yeah. So their pricing structure, set, it varies between weekdays and weekends, as everywhere does, uh, started at $75 of food and beverage minimum. Okay. So right. you get the cabana. They bill you $75 and essentially you get $75 of food and beverage credit. Right. We didn't want that. The pool there is a little small and we wanted a little bit more uh, deluxe accommodations than just your, your pop-up uh, uh, Home Depot shade tent. So we went up the street a little bit. This is where Tropicana we looked at. They have a very expansive pool area, a lot of green grass, which we liked. Uh, swim up blackjack which I'm a fan of. Nice. And uh, just a nice large pool. So even if there was a lot of people there, you'd have space, you'd have some elbow room. So the pricing model at a Tropicana, uh, they do either or. So you can buy a cabana, and they were again of the less is more variety as well. Uh, four, four columns and some cloth around it and you know on, on the top. Uh, so no, no technology amenities there at all. How about a fan? Uh, no, oh. nope. No technology amenities are there either. It's 145 degrees outside. So they had a hybrid pricing model. You could buy the cabana, rent the cabana for $100 in cash, or... That's for all day. That's for all day. Or you could do a food... It would double the price, but it was a food and beverage minimum. So $200 in food and beverage minimum, and you also got the cabana. Well, I'm confused. So if I, I do $100, I have the cabana, but yep. then I could order food or beverage however I wanted to. You can. But if I pay two hundred dollars, I get some sort of food if or beverage. If you if you have a two hundred dollar food and beverage minimum minimum order, well, why would I? I don't understand. So if you you and some friends are going to go to the pool and get some appetizers and some bottle service, yep. you're probably going to spend two hundred dollars. Yeah. So you would choose the food and beverage minimum because essentially the cabana is free for you. Oh, I see. I see. So I'm saying if I if I'm going to spend two hundred bucks, they're going to throw in the cabana. Correct. Okay. 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 okay yep. Okay. I got you. I got you. So that's okay. the either or. Yep. 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 If you want to be cheap and you just want to drink water. And... Mickey doing a little applause. Atta boy, big boy. So if you wanted to be on the cheap side, keep the cost down, you would spend in the hundred dollars outright mm. and, and uh, right. uh, just you know, rent it outright. Well, let me add for a second, I kind of forgot to mention this, that you do not have to be a guest of the hotel to get a cabana there. Well, that's interesting because, uh, is that for every place or just Tropicana? That is for every place. Oh. So if you rent a cabana, it's equivalent to renting a room. Okay. You get access to the pool okay. and you could bring in, depending on the maximum occupancy, you could bring some friends along. Okay. So you could rent the cabana. Um, for example, at Tropicana, it is a max occupancy of six for their cabana, which means you and six friends you, excuse me, you have five friends. Uh, so you can bring six friends if you're not going in, uh, if you're treating them. <laughs> but you and your five friends then can go into the pool area and have the cabana. Okay. That's good uh, for some places because some places you have to be a guest to get access to the pool facility. Right. So if, you, if there's a specific place you want to go and you're not a guest, you don't want to rent a room, rent a cabana. You and your friends can, can uh, come right along. Okay. So I started to get, uh, we, we wanted to avoid the strip. I did look at other strip options. Uh, I looked at Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay, now this is where you start to go to the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, I bet. And it varied widely. Mandalay Bay, uh, you got your cabana, you got your uh, fan, you got your TV, you got a refrigerator, uh, your two lounge chairs, a little table and chair set. Started at 475 and went up Oofa. and went up to 1600 oh this sounds like encore now i didn't even bother looking at those because yeah. that i mean when you've got those day clubs <laughs> the <laughs> wet republic <laughs> and uh, first it was edc we wanted to avoid that altogether right, right. but then uh, so yeah anything from that from <laughs> north of tropicana uh, uh we stopped looking at got it with the exception of a place that i don't mind people sometimes look at me funny stratosphere 
Stratosphere just redid their pool area in 2016. Which is on like the third or fourth floor? It's on the eighth floor. floor. Eighth floor. Eighth floor. Okay. Uh, it's called the Elevation Pool. You have yourself a nice little view out over the valley. Uh, you get to see the people jumping off the top, and then you get to see the people that pay to be harnessed in to jump off the top. Um, and nothing that gets nothing. No, oh ah, well. I'm it's watching a tough these crowd. guys bitching about stuttering. I'm a little like concerned that our 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 stream is stuttering. Um, so we looked there. They redid their pool area in 2016. It's up on the uh, eighth floor. You got your walls, you got your fan, you got your TV, your refrigerator, your chairs. It met all of our criteria. I was all set to book Stratosphere. And then I thought, you know what? Let me go to their Twitter just in case. A lot of times places will post coupon codes yeah. or discounts. I went to their Twitter and uh, they had a tweet from about 18 hours prior where they were the official pre-party of EDC. Oh. And it was a whole pool and pool deck of this going on. And so I said, no, I'm good. Yeah. So then we looked, let's go downtown. Right. Let's see what's downtown. Uh, downtown, there's two, really only two, two main areas. You've got the downtown grand, yep. has what's called citrus, is what they, they theme their pool area as. And you have the plaza. And the plaza just redid their pool deck as well last year. You didn't look at Golden Nugget. Uh, I did not look at Golden Nugget. Golden Nugget would be an option as good well. Pool. Um, and it is a good pool. It's got the slide that you yeah. go through the sharks. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I just equated that. Golden Nugget is to downtown like Encore is to the Strip. It's probably the nicest one down there. Yep, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I figured, you know, that was that was going to be a little, a little bit out of my range. Okay. We skipped on Plaza and we skipped on uh, Downtown Grand just because of size. It's not there's not a lot of square footage down there. And it looked like you were going to be really close together. Yeah. They were an area, I believe it was downtown Grand, where the cabanas are all in a row. Yes. And literally, it is just a, a cloth or a curtain separating you from the cabana next to you. Yep. Yep. So we wanted a little bit more elbow room, a little bit more privacy. So that was out for us. Then we thought, we went to the other side of the equation. We said, let's really look for some privacy. We looked in Lake Las Vegas. So we went, we looked at the West End. There's privacy because no one's out there. In Lake Las Vegas. <laughs> Two pools out there. Very, very nice area. I'd recommend it if you're, you know, on your way to Grand Canyon. Uh, Phoenix. Right. <laughs> um, uh, Boulder City. Uh, it was very nice as well. Um, but it, and it had all the amenities, the refrigerator, the, um, the lounge chairs, the, the walls, the fan, the misters. Um, but it was $150 and would have been for that day for the saturday and we just decided eh, we didn't want to make the drive to boulder city yep so let's let's stay a little bit closer got it and so what we ended up settling on was actually uh, right by our house it was very convenient because when you're you're going to a cabana you want to live the luxury lifestyle you want to drive all day gotcha you know? so we went to sunset station Sunset Station would not have guessed that a station casinos property sure. in Henderson. Yep, on Sunset and Stephanie. Yep, um, decent sized pool area. They have a bar. The cabanas on the weekend were one hundred twenty five dollars, a hundred dollars uh, midweek. That off that got you everything we wanted. Your own space where you weren't next to someone on either side. All right. Um, a table with chairs in your cabana. Good. Refrigerator. Good. TV with cable. Got to have it. misters. Good. And shade. Because that's obviously we don't want to be burned up no, by the sun. No. So um, so we decided, okay, this is where we want to be. Then that now ties us into the third challenge when it comes to Cabana. So you've picked your area. Yep. You've picked your location. Yep. Now you actually got to try to rent the thing. Mm. And it's easier said than done in some places. Why? Some places, uh, some of the places we found, uh, the M, Tropicana, Stratosphere, all let Mandalay Bay. Because, of course, if you've got $1,600 to drop, they want to take it as easy as possible. Why not? I'll let you reserve it online. You go to their That's websites. Nice. Right. You can see pictures. Uh, some places like the M, uh, you can actually choose your location right there. And you pay, and it's all set up. Got it. The other places that we seriously considered, Sunset, where we ended up. Um, we also looked at the Orleans, which has a nice pool area as well, over at Locals Casino by Boyd on the west side of town. And several other locations was the old, give us a call to rent, you know, a cabana. Right. Um, that in itself turned out to be a little bit of an adventure. So the Orleans had a very prominent phone number. Call this number between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. to rent a cabana. I called the number and I got voicemail oh. at 9 a.m. on a Saturday. Yeah. So I ended up calling the main line and saying, hi, I'd like to rent a cabana. 
and they eventually got me to the right person after two transfers Carl the cabana boy. Uh, to to ask about pricing um, interestingly enough the cheapest place I found was the Orleans on a Thursday mm. $75 and the reason they told me that it's only 75 on a Thursday versus 100 during midweek 125 on the weekends was because you have to vacate the pool area by 5 p.m. at the Orleans on a Thursday what time do you usually have to leave uh, normally, you have it all day until the pool closes, usually between 7 and 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. Oh. But they, I guess, I don't know if they close their pool or they have a function on Thursdays, recurring function, but you have to be out by 5. So you don't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of your cabana and out of the Orleans pool. <laughs> you don't have to go home. Get out. Uh, so you had to call them. Same thing with uh, Sunset Station, and I looked. We also looked at GVR and yeah. Red Rock, Green Valley Ranch, Red Rock, other station casinos properties. Has a phone number. You have to call. Uh, inevitably, that person, the phone number I called for Sunset, gave me somebody who had nothing to do with Cabanas, Perfect. and they said they could transfer me. So yes. they they got me to food and beverage uh, out of the pool. Right. And, uh, and you know, you ask about prices, you ask about availability. So it's the old style where you actually have to reach out and touch someone. Right. Uh, so they had a location. We ultimately booked it. What they, uh, what they informed me when we got there, which other places had informed me, the Orleans, prior to what I called. And this is where you're going to shake your head uh, because this is along the lines almost of the paid parking and, and how people say that things are going downhill. Everything, out, every cabana where I physically talked to someone and then some places disclosed it online, every cabana rental, you had the base price for the cabana, right. and then they tacked on a mandatory 20% gratuity. Oh, that's not right. That was on 20%. 20%. That's how it was at Sunset, no. which means that's how it is at all station casinos yeah. properties. Right, right. The Tropicana, anywhere you booked online, I proceeded through to, to the final checkout page. They all added a 20% gratuity as well. That's, you know, that's so a little bit of bullshit. Right? They added it not only onto the cabana price, right. but then we ended up ordering two nachos and a couple of frozen drinks. And when you get the bill for that, 20% on the food. Mandatory gratuity so as well. So it's 20% on everything. Everything is 20% automatically added to the bill as a mandatory gratuity. Uh, not a fan. That's the way. That's I did not find a you know place. Now obviously I didn't call and ask everyone. Did you? Uh, not did everyone you, disclosed. Did you check it, out Planet Hollywood? We did not. We wanted to avoid the uh, we, the potential douchebaggery on EDC weekend. You know we did uh, a cabana there. When did they become Planet Hollywood? Do you remember? It would have been 06, I believe. 05 yeah. or 06, because so, prior to that they were the Aladdin. Yeah. So yeah. So we did one. It was probably two or three years after they became uh, Planet Hollywood. And we were shocked at how cheap it was. It was all day 165. Um, I don't know if it had an F and B uh, component. Actually, it didn't have an F and B requirement, but it was a solid wall, fan, TV, blah blah blah. We were freaked out, and it's a good pool. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice pool. It's like on the second floor. It's a, yeah, it's on, I think it's on the third floor. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It was. We were really surprised. So I'm I'm always measuring cabanas against that. Now I've done cabanas at Caesars which I was a guest at uh, with um, uh, Al Mancini. Mm. He, this is shit, this is back in 2011 or so. And, and his was the decadent, you know, mm. the, the shrimp and the whole nine yards. I'm like, well, I guess I'll do this for Gabbana's moving forward because it was fantastic and I wasn't paying for it, which made it fantastic. Um, but now what did I, Caesars, Planet Hollywood, MGM? No, I didn't do MGM one. While you're thinking, let me give one last word of advice. Okay. And this is something, this is very similar to something we've talked about before. So before we've talked about the $20 front desk trick. Yeah. You remember? It's not a trick. So the, yeah. I technique. Thought, okay. Technique. Strategy. Strategy. Where you sandwich the $20 yeah. bill right. in an attempt to get an upgrade. That's right. So if you're a, looking for a bit of a gamble, maybe you're a little, you're a little bit of a thrill seeker. Attaboy. I've I read numerous instances online where if you are not picky about a day, for example, um, where you have to have a certain day. Maybe you have people coming in and it has to be right and what have you. Right. If it's just a, especially if it's a weekday day or a weekday afternoon and you're just like, you've got nothing to do. You're like, Hey, let me, I'm going to go down to the pool. Um, I read that a lot of times you can make a deal. You ask for the band the pool manager. Right. And if he's got, if it's 12 o'clock or it's one o'clock and he's got either cabanas that are unsold or the people have no showed, 
he's going to resell that thing. And oftentimes oh, a deal that. can be worked. Yes. Where have I heard that? So you ask for the price. Oh. You say, oh, what's what's a cabana go for? And they tell you 150 And you say, you know, is there any... Is there any uh, Aria. Is that it? We mm -hmm. did that at Aria. Is there any flexibility yeah, in that price yeah. at all? I we mean, did I that see, on my birthday. I see you got a couple empty ones yes, over there. Yes, 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 yes. That's right. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So overall, the cabana that you went to at Sunset, good, bad, or It was different. very nice. We liked it. TV worked. It was in the shade. We had a little mini fridge. Uh, the $125 included a bucket of bottled water right. and a fruit plate. This is what I, I couldn't figure this out. Every cabana I looked at, and I even the other day in prep for this show, looked at the Cosmo and some of the more higher class places. Right. Every cabana comes with a fruit plate, and I can't figure out why that is. There has to be a Healthy. reason. I think it has to do with tax. I think if they serve you food, they can charge you a tax on it or oh, something along be, those lines. You are so negative. There is a reason every cabana comes with a fruit plate, and it's not because they're trying to which, push a healthy lifestyle. Which why, yeah, I think it's a healthy lifestyle argument. Even when you the think Silverton casinos, you think with the free cabana and the $75 food and beverage minimum, a fruit plate is included with your free cabana. Watermelon? There's a reason they're doing that. Watermelon? Uh, there was watermelon. Cantaloupe? There was pineapple. Uh, strawberries. And I yes, I believe cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. They care about your health. Uh, I bet they do. I think they do. All right. So your place, Sunset. Sunset next week, or excuse me, uh, July 4th weekend, the, the holidays of Tuesday. Yep. That Monday, we're going to go try out the Stratosphere because I want to see the oh. remodeled pool deck. It gets very good reviews. Fantastic. Okay. That's it. You know what I'm feeling? Are you ready, Nick? <laughs> I'm feeling like I could have a drink. It's time for Have a Drink of Me. It's part of the show where I show you a picture of a bar or a lounge or a speakeasy or a pub, and you tell us what that place is. Now, there are certain ways that you can win. As a matter of fact, there are not one, not two, not three, not four, but five ways that you can win. First, you send an email to have a drink at vegasvideonetwork.com. Again, have a drink at vegasvideonetwork.com with the correct answer. So that's one way to win. If you are the very first correct answer that comes in that's another chance for you to win if you are in the live chat and you sent in a correct answer that's another way to win if you send a video or audio input that's another way to win or if you've done an introduction to the show at the beginning of the show a little intro video that's another way that's five possible ways to win now you may say to yourself winning is important to me well, I like is, to win. Isn't winning isn't everything. It's, it's everything. the only thing. Mm -hmm. But what do I win? Do you have your thing? Oh, I do. Where is your stuff? Right here. Can I have it? Sure. I have to hold it. Get ready for velvet, my brother. Oh, here it is. Velvet has happened. Camera two. First off, let me, uh, as a former, I don't think I ever won, but let me tell you what you can get yourself. You can get yourself the three CD set, one CD at a time. Uh, you cannot win more than one week in a row by Scout Whitney. That includes Chris McCoustic, Chris McCoustic uh, 2, and Gajazathon. And people, I want you to be jealous because me, being me, has the wow. Scott Whitney signature, signature series. Wow. Now, if you ask nicely, maybe. I'll do it. Maybe you'll consider Oh, sure, it. I'll do it. Next up, oh my gosh, what is that? This is the alleged visor. Is that, that the visor that I, I don't wear it. anymore? You, you don't wear it anymore. Yeah, you know why? No. Because that looks pretty shop worn, doesn't but I it? I like it. it. It shows that you're you're a part, mm -hmm. you're a team. Mm -hmm. No one likes clean, beautiful <laughs> visors. They like dirty, beat up visors. That yep. means you're a man. The Vegas Fear Network visor. As you can see, it's been through the war and it lived to tell about it. Or you can have Scott Whitney uh, buy you a drink. Now, I would recommend that you do not let him get you one out of his refrigerator because you're going to get Mike's Hard Lemonade. No, what you're going to get is Zuma. However, Zuma, what however, the hell? If, for a very oh, short Zima. time, I was able to procure Sorry. a two case from a limited run of Zima, the refreshing citrus beverage. No. You might remember from the 90s. No. I certainly do. No. But if you don't are, uh, if you're not a fan of either drink, Scott Whitney will take you out to buy one of your own. Okay, stop the music.
Very good. Thank you so much, Wayne. Now, there's one magical thing that can possibly happen if you do win. Specifically, if you win one of these worn, torn. Mm -hmm. Here, let me see that guy. Oh, yeah, put let's, it on. Yeah, let's get that back. What looks like. Oh, that's turn that well, off. That's a little head got a little bigger. Ugh. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So here's what happens. You win. If you think I'm sexy. Have a drink on me. And you know you want me. And come on, baby. You take tell your me picture so. and you send in a picture like this. Hold on. Camera three. Or camera three. How about camera three? That Here's a picture of you with the visor. You're going to send that in to me. And then here it comes. Get ready, Nikki. You could become. We take your picture and we put you in. You ready, Nick? Ready. Put it on me. You could become a part of the, fingers crossed, galaxy of gods. There it is. And then there's other people. I'm hoping for Robert and Christina. And then there's Danny. And then there's somebody. Oh, I can't see it. Go. Keep going. Jackie and Ken. And Michael goes after with Sammy and Mike U. And Pops, and we're going. Way to go, Rosie. Keep going. And Glenn and Alan and Aaron, who are new this. And then there is more Scott B. And then, of course, there is. Binky and Bub and Shan, not Jan and Carol and Bob, Bob's wife and a dog to be two cheese. And Michael and Sam, Rob and Greg, Stuart and Chris, who is Zoe Bowie and your buddy Scott and Michael and Rob. And then there's Greg, I think we did that twice. We've done those before. <laughs> and, Wayne, there. <laughs> and Brett's dad, and of course, our buddy Brett. Okay, it's Space Bar. Okay, that was pretty good. Except for the repeat, what are you gonna do? Okay, we um, here am I. Here they are. Boink. All right. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a hat. Nope. Yeah. And we don't have the bonus entries either. Oh shit. Good point. Yeah. Didn't I give you your? Uh, I did. No. I, oh, I, I I handed it to you, but we didn't do official. We'll put them in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can get the. Uh, I can go get your pen, or I can get your yellow things. We should do that. Stand by. Let's, uh, Video? nope, nope, nope. Put it on him. I'll get it. While you're doing that, I want to take just a quick second uh, to address some live chat uh, comments. A lot of people in the live chat are, are, are going towards that the cabanas are a little bougie. Uh, they don't want to talk about cabanas. It's, let me tell you the reason that we chose to, to, right. to do one, what's nice about them. You don't have to get there as soon as the pool opens and fight to get a reclining chair. Uh, you don't have to worry about someone else grabbing your spot while you're in the pool. You get shade, which on a lot of pool decks is extremely handy, especially when it's 111 out. Yeah, he's still pitching um, the, uh, and you get a the you get a server. Well, a lot of people were thinking that the saying they want to talk about cabanas anymore is too bougie. It's not for them. And I was just going over. It's not just for the bougie aspect. Right. It's the fact you get shade. It's the fact you don't have to get there as soon as the pool opens to fight for a chair. You, someone's not going to jack your yeah, chair it's while all you're about in the shade, pool. Quite frankly. And it's and the server comes by. Oh yeah. So you don't have to, to worry about getting your own drink. Okay, so here we go. Ready? There are benefits. Oh, shit. Look at that. Which picture? Oh, yeah. Not yet. Come. Stand by. Okay. We'll use this to hold. Could have just brought the hat out, but didn't do that. That was dumb. Can you hold that? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number one, Gary Romberg. He gets one for the correct answer. He gets one for being... Actually, you can hold that. I'll hold this. One for being the first correct answer, Gary R., Mr. Testy. Then he gets one more because he's in the live chat. Is he? Yep. All right. Next up, we've got Justin, A.R. Fire, A.K. Fire. A.K. Fire, Jesus. That's what we need. Let's see if he's in there. Nope. Then we've got Matt Gentry. I don't think he's in there. Then we've got Bill in Seattle. Let me just double check on Bill. Uh, Bill 98036. I'm not sure. Is that 98? Well, let's do it. One for, no. Actually, he won last time, didn't he? Bill, you won last week. Oh, Bill. Oh, that's, that's going to. AJ Holler, one for the correct answer. VIP Donnie. Let's see if he's in there. Nope. 
We've got John in Ohio. I think he's a new entry. We've got Mike Beatty. Mike, there's uh, Mike Q. No. We've got Andy in New Hampshire. We've got Brent Barnes. We've got Monica Fagan, who is Binky 51, and she is in. La da dee. Well, that was, that was quick. Easy. Yeah. Okay. It was only 11. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I should, actually, yeah. Go ahead and put up the uh, graphic for last um, week's mm, Have a Drink on give Me. Give the correct answer. Yep. Here's last week's Have a Drink on Me. And the uh, correct answer was, uh, is that last week's? I want 305. Oh, I didn't give you 306, did I? <laughs> Outstanding. There you go. Yeah, so the correct answer there is Vintner Grill. Vintner Grill. Vintner Grill. All right. Oh, this week's winner dude. is the Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot. You can choose. I think they should get the Gajazathon and just play it as the Muzak. Damn it. Mm hmm. Are we ready? Uh, yeah, work? go ahead and do it. All right. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, of Have a Drink number 305, I believe. 305. There we go, right there. Brent Barnes, everybody. Way to go, Brent. You win a hat or a visor or a visor or CDs or a drink on your buddy Scott. If you so get I the forgot CDs, to, ask for CDs. Here's what I want you to do. This is going to be on the, on the, on the rough here. You ready? I want you to connect to my laptop via NDI. Has the smoke always been coming out of his ears like that? <laughs> and we're going to see if I can get this to show up over there because I forgot to load it. Yeah. I just, uh, oops, hold on. Son of a gun. Hmm, there it is. Are you seeing my desktop? Uh, what I want you to show, oh shit, didn't I bring it over here? I don't have it. You know, I just had a great idea. Could we not have just had to put a camera on the backdrop and done the screen screen and the air conditioning? Huh? Let's see. Oh, make this one. Got 15 of these damn things. Yeah. Talk among yourselves, everybody. I'll be right with you. Oops. Yeah. So, um, it really, I mean, if you're going to be out there at the pool anyways, and you're going to order, <laughs> you're going to order a drink, by the way, at Sunset Station, which is a locals casino, a pina colada Scott in the refillable glass, she could have sold me a regular cup of pina colada for $9, oh. uh, or a, uh, larger cup of pina colada, which was refillable for $30. Huh. And for $30, you got $20 refills. So very nice. Do you see this? That's what we went with. Because if you're going to spend that much money, just just get the cabana. If you're going to spend that much money, go to a Tropicana or Silverton and get it uh, comped because your food and beverage minimum anyways. Do you see this, Nick? Okay, pop it up. Okay, here's this week's That's Have a Drink on Me. Like oh, look like at that. that. Yep. That's fantastic. The that Vegas Fear Network Pfizer. As you can see, it's been through the war and it lived. What's that? To tell about. Oh, you see, you're hearing sound? Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about our clues. Clue number one, uh, come to me. If you had this on your head, this would be the name of the bar. This thing here, this oh, L thing. Right into the pool go the, the entries. What They're going to go swim with the fishes. Okay. Those who didn't win. Hit number one for the name of this bar, this thing. Hit oh. number two, they play two kinds of music, country and western. Go back to the graphic. And hit number three. I remember from the 90s. There is hit I number three. No. I'm going to make this super easy. It's at MGM Grant. <laughs> if you know the answer to this, you're going to go to send an email to have a drink at vegasvideonetwork.com. Again, have a drink at vegasvideonetwork.com. Where are we on time, Nick? Uh, 50. 50. Let's do, um, let's do one email. Let's do one email. I think that's a great Which idea. I think is uh, F. If we only do Ten. one, if we only do one email, Scott, yep. this will be the only email done poolside ever on Living in That's Las right. Vegas. Let's do it.
essentially the only poolside email. I can promise you this will be the only poolside email we ever do. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Okay, this email comes from David. David writes, hey Scott and Wayne. He didn't say Wayne, but I put you in there because I care. Uh, let me first say that I love your show and have been a following viewer for quite some time now. We finally purchased a condo at the Ogden in downtown Ooh. Vegas, and we'll be moving there this fall of 2017. Say hi to the Zappos folks. Right, because they're everywhere. We are from Washington State, and my wife is tired of the damp, wet weather. God bless you on that. My question for you is, is do you think the Ogden is an okay, decent purchase? Mostly in regards to safety above all. We are not late night people and tend to be home by seven to eight. We did do quite a bit of research prior to buying and it seems ideal for our lifestyle. No kids, one small dog. We will be transferring both of our jobs down here. I work from home. I watched many of your videos prior to making a decision and they were a huge help. Looking forward to hearing from you. Best, David. <clears throat> Ogden is interesting. So Ogden, as, as Wayne said, was used to be completely occupied by the good people over at Zappos. Zappos. Right. And, and so what basically happened was uh, Tony Shea owned the penthouse there. He, I th I'm not sure if he threw a bunch of people out or not, and they used it as rental. And then they eventually said, you know what, we should probably start selling these condos. They've been selling condos now for probably two years. Hardcore Facebook advertising. I got a ton of ads for them uh, as well. But in answer to your question, uh, is it safe? Yeah. Downtown has done a complete transformation it's from safe. 10 years ago. It's Even fine. eight years ago, I would yeah. say. It's, it's, it's safe. It is, you know, it is a little downtown-y, so... You'll have some bums. You, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. and, and more towards Ogden than, say, Fremont Street, because Ogden's a street away from mm -hmm. uh, Fremont Street. And, uh, and by the way, it's, it's on the corner of... They Ogden. are, uh, what is it, Ogden and, is it uh, uh, Las Vegas Boulevard? Yeah, or is that Fourth? No, it's, I think it's Las Vegas the Boulevard. Boulevard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's basically one block off. It's, they're actually nice properties. I haven't been in there since they sold. Uh, I was in there when they were renting uh, for, for something or other. Um, uh, and I don't know, actually, you didn't ask about the value of it. The value of that place did a huge swing, just like everybody else. Uh, when we had the problem with the economy. But in answer to your question about uh, safety, yeah, so it's, it's going to be safe. There are going to be bums around there and homeless folks around there, which is kind of the way it is in downtown anyways. It's just the way it is. That's how all downtowns are. Yeah, pretty much. Um, from a, uh, your home by seven and eight stuff. Now, downtown, you know, in, in, in Fremont East, it's a pretty late night hang. It is. It's a yuppie area. Super late night a hang. A lot of uh, Gold Spike. Yeah, and actually it kind of depends on where, if, you're, if your place is facing north, south, east, and west. So if your place is facing south, which faces Fremont Street and faces Fremont East, you're going to hear a lot of noise because that place is, is bopping at least on the weekends till 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So hopefully you've got good insulation. Um, I don't know who the people are who moved in there. I don't really know what their vibe is. It's got to be a millennial crowd, right? Well, I don't know what the cost is for those places. I don't know. I'm guessing, yeah, maybe you can look that up. My guess is it's probably mid 200s, and those are probably two ones, two bedroom, one bath. Does that sound right? Uh, yeah. There are, uh, the building contains 275 units, ranging from 815 to 2,000 square feet. Yep, yep. Uh, the minimum price right now, there are nine active listings in the Ogden. Yeah. And the minimum to get in, three forty nine nine. Wow. It tops out at six thirty four nine. Wow. So that seems a little high to me. I would agree. That but what is... did we talk about just a couple weeks ago? Prices are going up. Uh, the how many are supply available? nine right now. Out of how many? 275 oh, so that's not so 10 out of 300 so there's not very many left so that's interesting i think that pricing is it'd be interesting to see what the pricing was not now but like a year ago because i don't i think they came out of the gate at mid twos for a lot of that but you're saying now minimum is three wow that's interesting well that's what they wanted for sure so that becomes you, know, you didn't ask about the value 
Uh, but Doug, I, I think that bodes well for him because if they can get those kinds of prices, you're not going to get uh, yeah, that's a, good point. a lot of riffraff that's at good that point. pricing. That's a good point. So uh, the, the no kids, that's a good place to be. Small dog, good place to be. Uh, working from home, good place to be. Um, yeah, I, so this is like for any new place here. We, I'm not a big fan of Zappos. I'm not a big fan of Shea and, and what he's kind of done down there. But I am a fan of, of our housing to doing well and all that stuff. And I want buildings to do well. So See, I disagree. I don't want to go off into a tangent in a separate show, but I like the gentrification. The what? Gentrification. I, I, we did a show four or five years ago, right before the boom, about the lofts. Mm -hmm. And we did uh, Newport lofts. And man, oh, and he doesn't, and it doesn't say what the uh, HOA fee on that is. But oh, the that's... HOA fee at Newport lofts was a thousand dollars. Yeah. Just for the HOA it's fee. It's something, it starts at 600 in Palms Place. It's crazy, down on Flamingo. crazy expensive. Yeah. Um, and this was, this is for any property, minimum six or a thousand. And, uh, and you ask them, well, what do you get? Well, you get, you get the Newport lofts. Mm -hmm. You mean that track at the very top? I get that. Yes, you do. And the pool up there? Yes, you do. Okay, that's a thousand dollars. Yeah. Oof. I, there's no way you could get a cabana could every weekend that. for that. Oof, oh, man. So um, I'm not a condo guy, but I'm sure hopeful that it does well. Clearly, it's doing okay. Yep. And and I think you're going to get a little noise. Again, it depends on what side you're facing. Go All on. right, Scott. Well, I think that's it. Otherwise, play, play get, uh, gin and tonic. Otherwise, we're going to have to uh, start that timer, that countdown for paramedics. All right. I'm starting to feel a little light. You did it okay. You, you made it through, big boy. Yeah. I, I Where did we end up at? I believe... Uh, About 100. Oh, just 100 even. You big boy. Says the, the accurate That's scale. That's not so bad. So we're still right. in the triple digits. You've had but, worse. You know, I okay. did. Hey, if you want to reach out to us, there's a lot of ways to do it. You can send an email to onairq at livinginlv.com. Again, onairq at livinginlv.com. As a matter of fact, it's right at the bottom down there. Could you make that music start again? And uh, you can leave us a voicemail, and you do that by going to our homepage of the Vegas Video Network website. There's a little tab on the side. You click that, and you click a little button that says leave a voicemail, and you could do that. We're on iTunes. Leave us a five-star review. We're on YouTube. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Share us with all your friends. We're also on Roku with 73,000 installs. Stitcher, TuneIn, Chromecast, Apple, Google, Fire TV. We're on Google Play. And, of course, the Vegas Video Network. I'm Scott. That's Wayne. Get ready for F12. 11, 10, 9. We'll see you guys next week on the Vegas, or two weeks from now on the Vegas Video Network. See you First and third, go.